Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Franco and Friends YouTube channel. My name is Mark, and on this channel, I share my experiences fathering a child on the autism spectrum. Sorry if it's a little loud. Franco is home at the moment, so you might hear him upstairs kind of um, talking or playing, or he, he's usually making his YouTube videos, so I apologize for that. Um, but so in this video, I want to kind of break down um, one of the questions that I received in the Frank Home Friends uh, private Facebook group, right? I had a parent ask me a question, which was basically I'm paraphrasing here. The child is starting a new school and the parent was nervous about this and wanted my suggestions to kind of facilitate the transition process, right? They're nervous about if they should even do this. Th that's the first question. Should they even do this? And if so... Do I have any recommendations to kind of ease the process, right? So first thing I would do, the first step should be to reach out to the school, the program, and ask them what resources, what supports do they have in place to facilitate the transition, right? They should have something, some type of resources or some type of program to help the child transition, right? Because that that's a... So if I'm understanding this correctly, the, the, the question was or the comment was the child is going from um, complete homeschooling to a full time program, which is nine to four, which is a long day for anybody. So that's a that's a pretty big transition. That's a big step. And that the comment was also in the comment. They also said that there's, it's either all or nothing. There's no part time one or two days or nine to five. You know, there's no. There's no in between. It's either all or nothing, which I find um, quite interesting, but it is what it is, right? So the first step is going to be reach out to the program, reach out to the school, reach out to the clinical director of the program and ask what they can do. Tell them your concerns. Tell them that you're nervous about the, the transition, right? Because that's a big jump. So tell them your concerns. You have to be vocal. You have to be very loud sometimes to get what you need. We have to be the advocate. We have to speak up. We have to use our voices. So that's step number one. Step number two, what I would start right now, I would literally go to the school and take pictures. I would ask them again. I would reach out to them and say, listen, you know, you voice your concerns and ask them if they will allow you access to the building, to the school, to the classroom, whatever the whatever your child is going to be doing, ask for access, go in there with your phone and take pictures. Take pictures of the actual, the front door, the outside of the school, um, the hallways, the classroom that the child is going to be in, take as many pictures as you can possibly take as they allow you to. And if you have a printer, what I would do is save those pictures and pr actually print them out. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start to show the child the pictures, kind of get them familiar with the new place, the new space. And if you can, on the website, look up on their website. Maybe they have some pictures of kids having fun, teachers smiling, laughing, you know, making it look really fun. Show those pictures, right? And again, ask the school if they have anything in place. Do they have any types of resources like that? Do they have social stories that they can offer you? What can they do? Can they assist you with the transition? There's got to be something that they can do, but you have to be vocal. So that's number two. You want to print out as many visuals as possible. And then you, what you're going to start to do is you're going to start, like I said, to show the child the visuals, right? Right now, we're not even mentioning that we're going to a new school. We're just kind of showing them and kind of desensitizing them to the whole process, the whole new atmosphere and showing them how fun it's going to be. The people that are there. Look at all the kids having fun, right? It looks cool. Look at this. Look at that. Right. Show them interesting things. OK, so that's that. Then we're going to start to transition. Once you get the positive feedback that we're looking for, then you're going to go to the next step, which is wouldn't it be cool to go there? Look at all the kids having fun. Look at how friendly the teachers look. The aides, they're so nice. It looks like such a fun place. Right. And you're going to do that again as long as you have to to get the to get the positive feedback you need. Then the next step, once you get the positive feedback is to go tour the school with the child. So you're going to say, but before you do that, let me take a step back. You're going to say, guess what? I have such good news. On Monday, we're going to look at that school, the one that looks so fun. It's going to be so awesome. I cannot wait to go, right? So that's what you're going to do. You're going to bring the child. And again, but you have to reach out to the school. You have to be vocal. And you have to demand these things. You have to tell them, listen, this is what I need. My child needs extra support with the transition. What can you do? Right. 
and they should be able to accommodate you. So what you're going to do is you're going to go view the school. You're going to go tour the school with the child. Okay. Now, again, this can, you know, go one or two, I mean, multiple ways, but one or two main ways is the child goes and loves it. That's number one. That's the one we, you know, cross our fingers that we hope for. Or number two, they're going to hate it, in which case you're going to have to reassess the situation from there. Okay. But at least once we get to that point, then we'll kind of talk and we'll, uh, you know, decipher and dive in what is the best way to approach it from there. But if the kid loves it, which is the one we're looking for, um, we now we're in a much better situation. Now the child knows what to expect from the visuals, from the implementation of, you know, showing them the social stories and showing them the visuals. The Actually, I didn't even mention the social stories yet. So after you've done that, okay, I'm sorry, I'm kind of jumping all around. But so right now, again, let me take a step back. I'm getting too amped up here. Let's take a step back. So right now you have toured the school and we're saying that the child is happy and is excited to go. Next step is social stories. So you're going to take the pictures, the visuals that you have of the actual school, and you're going to print those out into the order of a social story or a visual schedule. So for the first day of school, you're going to show the child, we're going to wake up in the morning, we're going to eat breakfast, we're going to get dressed, we're going to brush your teeth, we're going to do your hair, we're going to get our backpack, we're going to go in the car, we're going to go in the bus, whichever it is. We're going to drive to the school. And these are all in picture form. Every step has to be broken down very, very specifically with actual pictures to familiarize the child with the exact step-by-step process that they're going to go through, okay? So every step is broken down. They're going to get to the, they're going to come off the bus, walk to the school, go in the door, go to the classroom. How, however specific you need to get, that's what you need to do, okay? So that's where we are right now. You, you're going to use the social story. You're going to start to expose the child to the show, social story right away. Okay, and with a combination of all these things, you're going to have a much better chance, a much better outlook. And to be completely honest with you, we're literally in the midst of this right now with Franco. We haven't got to the point yet of, you know, the visuals and the social stories because we're still um, touring schools right now. So to be completely transparent, what we are doing right now is we have reached out to about five different schools. And the way that we're doing it is, this is also good to share with you, is we have a, um, a little different of an opportunity, right? So for us, or maybe you have a similar opportunity, in which case, if you do, we can talk more about that um, later. But right now, what we did, we reached out to a bunch of programs. Right now, we have about five of them that we are going to tour. Now, the schools continuously ask, bring Franco with you, bring Franco with you. We want to meet Franco. But you know what? We 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 um decline that. We do not bring Franco with us. We do not bring Franco with us because it can be kind of confusing to him, right? We continuously showing him all these new schools. And what happens if he goes to a school and he loves it, but it's actually the wrong fit? It's not the right program for him. And we say, no, not that one. Then we go to another one. He loves it. The same thing happens, right? So we want to kind of go and observe the situation you know, kind of chat with the, with the principal, the teachers, the aides, the BCBAs, the therapists, all these people. We want to see, we want to watch them in action. How do they connect with the children? What are the children like? Is it a good atmosphere for, for your child, right? You have to go and observe all these things. You have to ask tons of questions. It has to be the right fit. It has to be the right fit. So again, I know my videos, I kind of jump around. Um, and if you're looking for somebody that's very, very technical and uh, has perfectly well laid out videos, I am not the guy for you. I don't edit my videos. I don't go off of scripts. Whatever happens, happens. As you can probably hear Franco upstairs having fun making his YouTube videos. And if you guys have not yet at this point, if you're liking the content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm not like everybody else where as soon as you click on the video, I ask you to like and subscribe. I want you to check out the video. If you like it, then I want you to like and subscribe. But if you don't like it, then you're probably not going to want to watch it. So I'm not going to ask you right away. But again, guys, I hope that helps you. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave them below and I will do my best to respond. And like always, I'm wishing you the best day ever. Take care. And I'm sending you so, so much love and so much good. Take care.